Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This one's going to be on a program called WinCDEMU. Uh, this program basically creates images of um, data disks that you have, so you won't you know, lose your data if the CD or DVD breaks that has your information on there. This is really worth uh, you know, investing time in doing, because once you lose your disk, that disk is going to be lost if you do not have it backed up. So we'll go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do is uh, open your internet browser. You're going to type in WinCDEMU. This is the website right here. So you're going to go ahead and download that to your default directory by clicking on here. Once you've done that, go to the directory where you have the file, double click. Uh, you don't really need to click on that because all that's going to show you is where it's going to put it. So once you get that done, go ahead and click install. I'm not going to do it because it's already on mine. Now, once you have that program installed, you're going to have, you know, it's going to be available in your uh, the start menu and so forth. But what it's going to do, it's going to basically add entries for when you want to create uh, an ISO image of your disk. So here, for example, I have Windows 7 loaded into the D drive. So we're going to right click on that. And now notice you're going to have this on here create ISO image basically you're going to click on that try to name the file the same thing as it's named under the DVD drive entry for now we're just going to do we'll see one seven test just for the heck of it but always try and name it what the original disk was so we're going to go ahead and do that to the desktop you're going to click save and basically it's going to do the rest of it from there as you can see it's already uh, creating the ISO image in this case it's putting it to my desktop so we're gonna let this do its thing we're gonna fast forward all right fast forward and it's gonna let you know when it's done now once it's done you can verify by going to the location where you were at or where you had it you know put so there's the thing right there we can right click select drive and mount and then you'll see it did it up here so it put it there for you so once you have that done you can literally read that CD like it's actually the physical CD even though it's not so that's a uh, you know virtually mounted ISO so let me go in here into the program and kind of show you how you can maneuver, maneuver inside it So this is the setting window. So right here, you can uh, click this, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna you know load them automatically to the letter that you've pre-assigned. You can switch them from here, give it different virtual drive letters. You can choose your preference here, and different settings over here. So once you're done with all that, like I said, you can go ahead and mount it, and that's pretty much how you can save your uh, data disk. You know, in case they break in the future, you'll still have them as an ISO. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, uh, please give me a thumbs up and or subscribe. And you guys have a great day. See you on the next one.